Hey everybody, this is Roberta Eastman from Home Buyers Inventory, and thank you for joining us for one of our Q and A's. We are on Home Buyers Q and A number forty, and it is about getting your tax refund and using that for something that will last you and your family a lifetime. So, Home Buyers Q and A number forty. The question is, what is the best thing you can do if you are someone who will get a tax refund? So in helping answer this question for our readers and subscribers to homebuyersinventory.com, there are a lot of smart things to do with your tax refund, like paying off debt, funding your retirement, creating an emergency fund, and using it as a down payment for a lease option fee. You know, you may be tempted to use your tax refund for a splurge, but one of the best ways to accelerate your savings and improve your finances is to take found money, such as a tax refund or an unexpected bonus, and put it directly into your savings or to pay off debt. Before you do anything else with your refund, make sure you have at least a minimal emergency fund to cover your expenses for a few months or to pay an unanticipated bill. So a lot of people say three to six months would be a good emergency fund. And if you have an emergency fund in place, then putting money into a fund for your lease option fee and your closing cash and your costs for home maintenance, that can be a great way to put you on the fast track to home ownership. And add this to the prospect of equity gained through home ownership and it's a win-win. So whether you are receiving a refund of a few hundred dollars or several thousand dollars, if you're contemplating engaging in a rent-to-own home, worry no more. At Home Buyers Inventory, you can use your tax refund as part of your lease option fee. Yes, you heard it right. Using a portion of your tax refund toward your lease option fee can be a great idea. The more you put into the lease option fee, the more money will be deducted from the purchase price of the home when you execute your option to purchase. So ask yourself, how much am I going to get? And then how much do I need? The average tax return for most is $3,000. With this amount, you will be well on your way to contributing to your home purchase price. If you have further questions about how to use your tax refund to get yourself a home, feel free to ask us as we're here to help all throughout the process get you your dream home. Visit us at www.homebuyersinventory.com. You can get all the details for the homes we have available, schedule a viewing, and you can also get free winter heating checklist. You can use that whether you're renting or owning your own home. Either way, that'll save you money. So come and join us at www.homebuyersinventory.com.